like this, open heaven, even as we open our heart, speak to us in a language that we will understand. You have called us with the holy calling. You did not call us to come here every Sunday and party. You called us not because there is no purpose. That because even before the foundation of the world was erected, there was a plan in your heart. And at the appointed time, you said, Daughter, my son, get up, follow me. Today, help us to live worthy of that calling. May your spirit be present. May your angels be here. Open our eyes, O Lord, to the truth so that the truth that we know can set us free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. The topic of today is living worthy of our calling. Somebody say living worthy of my calling. Living worthy of our calling. Open your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 4, 1, to four. Ephesians 4, 1 to 4. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, and devouring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even, he, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Praise the Lord. I can't hear you. I say praise the Lord. We must be thankful to God at every point in time whenever we remember that we too are Christians. And I want to congratulate you for having this rare privilege to be a Christian and to be in a place that is safe, very nice for Christians to worship God freely. Praise the living Jesus. Paul here identified himself with a peculiar name. This is a name you can call somebody today and the person will pick offense. But Paul said, I therefore the prisoner of who? Prisoner of Christ. He saw himself as a prisoner. Prisoner. And I remember the word he said in Philippians. He said, to live is, is Christ. For me to live is Christ. And for me to die, it is gain. So, Paul knew very well his purpose of creation. Why God created him? And he knew that he had a calling. That is why he writes to the Ephesian church today. That you Ephesians, listen, I the prisoner of Christ, I know my calling, I am a prisoner. And I am living worthy of the call. I call on every one of you today that you walk worthy of your calling. First of all, what is calling? What is a calling? A calling is a strong desire to spend your life doing a certain kind of work, such as a religious work. Also, it can be said to be a strong inner impulse toward a particular course of action, especially when accompanied by divine influence. It is your vocation, it is the profession that is inspired by a divine calling. 
some of people are born and when they are small, they say, ah, this one, this one will be a doctor. He talks like a doctor. This one is going to be a pastor. He behaves like a pastor. Even as early as five, six to ten years, you can look into the eyes of some persons, look into their character and you will say, this one is going to be so, 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 so in the future. People are born to become something. People are not born to become anything, just anything. But they are born to become something. God told Jeremiah, he said, even right in the womb of your mother, I knew you. And even in the womb, I had already ordained you to be my prophet. And as this man grew up, he knew his calling and he followed suit. Praise the Lord. Before all of us were born, God had already placed his call and made necessary arrangements so that we can come in contact with him. Even if you are born in church, you are born into a Christian family, even if I'm born into a Christian family, personally, a time came in my life, I had to accept Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. And even after accepting him, a day came, he had to call me himself. And I can't forget the day. It was March, it was on the 21st. I can't forget that day. Everybody has a call. There is something that God calls you to do, even in his house. Can you talk and face your neighbor if you have a neighbor? If at all you have a neighbor, face your neighbor. Look at the neighbor, eyeball to eyeball. You, I'm not your neighbor. Look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor, eyeball to eyeball. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, what is your calling? Talk to the other side. Ask another neighbor. Neighbor, please answer me. In this St. Andrew's Cathedral Church, what is your calling? Any reply? Is there any reply? What are you called to do in the house of God? What is your calling? There are things that are meant for some persons, even in church. The church we arrange, eh? The church we clean, they are meant for some persons alone, for the protocols. The sweeping of the church, they are meant for some women alone. Harvest is meant for some persons alone. In fact, few Sundays ago, we had children harvest. Is that not so? And it was meant for children alone. Some adults refuse to come. Adult harvest is coming. It's meant for some, it's meant for some big men alone. Now, what is your calling? What is my calling? Me, I know my calling and I'm not going to jump into another person's own. I know my own. I am called to preach. And that is what I am doing. And that is what I want to know how to do best. Praise the Lord. I should not go to Bishop's court and be dragging leadership with Bishop. I am not called to be an administrator in the church of God. I am called to preach the word of God. Some persons, they don't know their calling and they don't want to know their calling but when somebody is active in the area of their own calling, they use their mouth, eh, their mouth to scatter that person. Eh, now it's a bit too fast. Now in here, pastor, pass. If they show himself now, not be this one. Now here, yeah, now if they do this by faith. See, if everybody in this world, eh, be a neighbor, and they don't spoil one another, the world will be better. Try to be an neighbor to your God and in the house of God too. If somebody they do make a present, who not like praise before? Who not like praise? 
And I want to encourage as many that have taken the responsibility of God's work upon themselves. There is nothing you do in this life that people will not talk. If you do good, people must, people must do what? Must talk. If you do bad, people must do what? So why don't you? In fact, cook food eh? and call people, come and eat free of charge. There are some among those, your guests, who will say, money they catch them now. See as the meat, even of a big self. This man, they use all the money, they eat food. Just look, just see the money when they waste for food. People must talk. And if you call party, no good food, people must talk. So why don't we do the right thing? What is your calling? There was a day in Genesis chapter 11, the Old Testament read to us. People came together and said, eh, they were calling to one another. Eh, Titi, where are you? Maria, John, James, come. Let us make a name for ourselves. And humans gathered together. They gathered against God and his anointed. And you know, any gathering, any calling that is not of God must not stand. The Bible says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee, shall do what? Shall fall for thy sake. So men and women gathered together and said, let us build a city here and make a name for ourselves. And as they were building, God got the report from angels. And God said, I can't imagine man calling themselves to a vocation in order to rebel against me. So God came down himself. The scripture says, God came down himself to confirm. It's a serious matter. For God to leave heaven because of investigation. He had the report of angels. It wasn't enough. He said, let me go and see. And God did not come enough. He said, let us go. He called Jesus. He called the Holy Spirit with angels in heaven. And they came with escorts. They came and they saw men rebelling against God. And God confused their languages. Today, if somebody tells me that Nigeria is the Babel of Africa, I will not say no. Somebody sang a song and said, Edna Ogoli. He said, every kilometer is another language. No wonder we have a lot of confusion. Nigeria has over 300 plus languages. That I said alone, how many? It is because somebody did not obey the call of God and decided to do their own calling, to obey human calling. I ask us again, what is your calling in the house of God? What is your calling? Are you called to have the less privilege in the house of God? Or are you called to destroy the work of God? I don't know about other men of God, but I know about myself. Rarely, I mean, they don't. Occasionally you see somebody from the crowd, from the pew, that we come to a minister of God. I said, eh, Daddy, man of God, this is my own suggestion. I think this thing that was done, it wasn't so okay. Is there any excuse, is there any explanation why it was done like that? Hardly you see it from the pew. But you can see one thousand and one person who will say, what is Vika doing? What are they doing there? Now the Spirit of God, they lead them so. So if you get the Spirit of God past them, why don't you make your own input? What is your calling? There are what you say in a second, and it can take years to repair the damage. Because when we open our mouth and make some kind of comment, 
Somebody that is there, before you correct it, somebody has taken away the news. May God help us in Jesus' name. We are called to live worthy of our call. Jesus called us. He said, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. And the day he was betrayed, he took bread. He broke it and gave us his own body. He gave us his own blood. And he said, that this is my blood of the new covenant. Drink it and become me. Listen. If there is any part of your body that belongs to you, it is because that part of your body is connected to you bodily and by blood. So Jesus connected ourselves, our bodies, our spirits to himself. And said that from today, abide in me and I in you. And wherever you go, you see the words of darkness, destroy them, hope serpents, drink them things. They can by no means hurt you. Praise the good news. This is our calling. He said, ye are the light of the world. But there is a statement that Jesus made. He said, by their fruits you shall know what? By their fruits you shall know what? You shall know that by their fruits. We are professing Jesus Christ. In Nigeria, somebody you carry a Bible to. I said, sister, brother, let me talk to you about Jesus Christ. The person will tell you, is it Jesus? Jesus is my personal Lord and Savior. I am saved. So there is no need to talk to me. And it can be so possible that the brother can put his hand into his pocket and bring a lighter and light a stick of cigarette and smoke it while discussing Jesus with you. Is that the fruit of a good calling? What is your calling? Are we living worthy of the calling? Like me, I am not worthy to be called by God. So what for him? If it were to be by personal righteousness, God would have gone further from me and called people who are qualified. If it were to be money, I have mon not money enough to attract the call of God to my life. But it was by grace. Now I ask myself another question. And I want you to ask yourself that same question. If it is by grace, you the grace that lifted us up from darkness to become a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. To declare his marvelous life, should that grace be abused by our character? Or shouldn't that grace transform us to be like Christ himself? If God calls us by love, let the love bring praise to him. If we are called into the church, let us behave like Christians. Let people see our good works and give glory to God. People shouldn't see me and say, this one a pastor too. People shouldn't see us and say, this one a committee member too. No! Instead of questions like that, instead of the pagans to say rubbish against the name of our God, because of our lifestyle. Let them give God praise. Let them say, thank you, Lord, for this sister. Jesus, thank you for this brother. This is festive period. November, we are coming here to thank God. How many of us have the heart of appreciation to say, God, thank you. For even making me a part of this. There are some of us, when they do community festivals, we see names of Christians in their banners as chairmen. We see posters in town, green boards, social so community juju, social so community festival, and you see people 
dirty masquerade. You see people, they will gladly volunteer themselves to be share men and share ladies. But in the house of God, we need a share man. If they kidnap somebody, where the money they come from, sir? The money for the ransom, where did they come from? Any hole where the money they must come at. Now who go market? You know, get accidents. Eh? Now he goes. No do for. Who get accident? Four tires of motor come up. Motor somersault three times, four times, five times. He can only he can survive. All the goods lost. Now that person now he goes do pass for. No be true. We have very few times. As I am here now, this past Wednesday, people were telling me plus one, plus one. I was telling myself minus one, minus one. I shouldn't deceive myself. If I had a hundred years, at least I have spent some part. It is minus one. If I am one, uh, if I am a year old today, it means I have spent, I, I have succeeded in removing one from the hundred that God allocated to me. Some of us here, we don't have more than 20. And what we are, where we are going, we are going to reap all that we sow. Some of us, we don't get account for heaven. We don't get that if they open your box, I can't get here. See, go, go. Different kind of things is dead here. Some of us no get account. What is your calling? This is the time to walk home in the grave where we are going. Some of you are ahead of me. I am ahead of some of you to the grave. Where we are going, there is no activity there. It is account and reward. Let us stand up. For as many that are bringing shame to your name, O Lord, just because your call was extended to them, forgive us today. Open our eyes to live worthy of our calling. This we ask from you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost.